Hey guys, members of the D team, I wanted to give you some information that was just shared in the state broker meeting. So if you are dealing with a seller, you know that one of the things that the seller needs to fill out is the SPUDs. It's the seller's disclosure. So the, what the seller is doing at that time is they are disclosing everything that has ever happened in the house since they have owned it. It's extremely important to remind your seller, number one, disclose everything. Okay. Um, it, this is not a time to be like, well, the roof doesn't really leak all the time. Dude, if the roof is ever leaked, disclose it. Okay. Because what you don't want to do is put your sellers in a position where they're kind of sugarcoating or being unlawful. Okay. So recently, um, well, let me rewind past. Okay. This is what used to happen. If during the time of inspection, something new came up, you would draft an additional spuds. That is no longer. What we have now is called a notice disclosure. So what the state brokers just said was the spuds obviously is a two-sided document, right? The sellers are going to fill it out. They're going to sign it. You're going to send it over, or you can have it on the MLS. So that way, whoever is buying the property is now initialing and signing it saying, yes, I received this. So what happens during this time of the transaction, if something new comes up. So what your sellers have to do is do what's called a notice disclosure. On that notice disclosure, they are gonna disclose whatever new item that they had. Now this is a one-sided document, meaning it is only a disclosure. So the seller is going to sign this. You as the real estate agent are going to send that over to whoever the agent is who is representing the buyers on this transaction. Now, what it does is it triggers another five days, okay? That means that they have five days in order to be able to kind of like see what's really going on, okay? Now, I asked the specific question, does this mean that inspection period starts again? And they said, no. Now, you can have another inspector come out. Um, your buyers can now back out if the inspection says, the inspector said, hey, this is a big thing. This is not going to work out or this is the cost. They do have that recourse. I didn't ask the specific question about Benzer because obviously Benzer period would already be ending. So maybe there's an addendum or something that would be written up. But I just wanted to let you know, if you are a listing agent and you're listing a property and you've already completed the spuds and during the time of the transaction while it's open, if something new comes up that needs to be disclosed, the form that we are using, the AAR form that we are using is called a notice disclosure. If you have other questions, remember, don't ask me. I don't know any of this stuff. I'm just giving you the information. Ask Chris, 